Today in the Black Market Outpost, we kit bash. Welcome to Black Market Outpost, kit bashing. What is kit bashing? Kit bashing is taking manufactured model parts, combining them together to create something else. Not too long ago, Brian Thompson put out a challenge on his Patreon page for a kit bash land speeder. So I thought to myself, man, can I build this land speeder? Never done anything on that scale or that size, but a challenge is a challenge. So I decided I was gonna take this Corvette and this Apache helicopter, combine them together and come up with a land speeder suitable for a general. Make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video because I will have a preview of our next build which incorporates the land speeder that we're building today. So let's head over to the shop and see what we come up with. It's amazing how well these two parts fit together. It's almost like they were made to be together. I used styrene to fill in the gaps on the tail section of the Apache helicopter. I cut it larger than it needed to be and then I filed it into shape. A lot of the white pieces are from a model kit I picked up from the Shadows of the Empire, the Virago. When you kit bash, there is tons of filing and sanding that goes along with it. Front bumper is made out of spruce. Spruce is the framework that holds the model parts together when you first open the kit. I did find a lot of the smaller parts hard to handle. I cannot stress the value of a hobby saw when you're doing this type of work. More filing, more sanding. Styrene comes in quite handy to fill in gaps. I dressed the engine up with a lot of greeblies from the Apache helicopter. I bondoed all the seams 
between the helicopter and the Corvette to blend them all in so that it would look uniform. And then you guessed it, I filed and sanded and filed and sanded and filed and sanded. I emptied a bottle of Gorilla Glue and I decided to keep the two squeeze triggers and use them as fillers for the rear wheel wells. You ever have one of those days where you thought you recorded something, but you didn't? The paint I chose is Copper by Rustoleum. I brushed on three different shades of pigment all close to a sand or rust color. This is a pen I picked up at the local hobby shop by testers. It's actually called Grime. I then followed the pigment with the standard watered down black acrylic wash. I did a light coat of silver rub and buff on the engine just to highlight some of the high spots. I hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I did making it. This project ended up being a lot of fun. I'd like to thank Brian Thompson for putting together such a great challenge. In the next coming weeks I'd like to complete a diorama for this project. I have a few ideas in my head and I did get started somewhat, but with the holidays coming up I think I'll take a little extra time and get it done right before I show it to you guys. I do have a sneak preview, however, which I'll show you right now. This is the beginning stages of what's going to be a Tatooine diorama to go along with my land speeder. Like and subscribe to the channel and you will be able to follow me and find this build in the next few weeks. Thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed.